What is up everyone? It is Maki here coming to you guys with another raw travel vlog. I know it's been a minute, but hear me out. Over the past couple of weeks and months, I've recently decided to resign from the airlines industry as well as the travel industry. So I made an executive last minute decision to go up to north of Thailand in Chiang Mai. So I would like to say, first of all, welcome. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to another travel vlog. Um, it's been a minute since uh, we've traveled. Currently at Melbourne Airport, taking the A320 to Sydney by uh, Jetstar, and then taking the uh, A330 with Qantas to Bangkok. So, it should be a good flight. Wish me luck, and um, see you in Thailand. Classic in my room When I paid for this life to come true Now I ride up the hills and the oops With the cool mid-June If you are seated at an exit In an exit row all your hand luggage must once again be stowed in the overhead locker Please now ensure your seatbelt is fastened Your tray table secured Seat back in its original Alright, what's up fam? We've just arrived in uh in Bangkok at the moment, just landed in from Sydney and now taking the connecting flight to Chiang Mai. So, yeah, it was kind of weird vlogging in front of a few hundred people, but um, fuck it, why not? Anyways, I'll check in with you guys when I'm back in, uh, in Chiang Mai. Peace. So you might be asking, um, why are you looking at accommodation? Well, good old Maki forgot to actually book accommodation in Chiang Mai. So currently I found a place for a couple of nights and uh, yeah, that's what I was doing at the moment. So when you're talking about winging it, this is the ultimate winging. All right, so we made it into Chiang Mai. As you can see, we just pulled up at the international airport, arriving from Bangkok, took a, um, an airline with, uh, with Vietjet on the A320. It was pretty good, despite being a little bit late. It wasn't too bad, but I'm um, grateful that after three flights that we made it here, and um, yeah, all in one piece. And now I just uh, grabbing myself a taxi from this taxi stand at the moment, and um, yeah, gonna go check into the hotel, settle in, and um, probably head out for a few drinks later on tonight. Until then. Oh, beautiful. Has a balcony? Yeah. Awesome. So I've just come back from uh, a quick 7-Eleven run, stocked up the fridge with a couple of uh, waters and uh, a few juices and coconut water and just a packet of chips. Um, other than that, when picked up this uh, tourist SIM card, it's an eight day pass. You get free internet. Where is it? There we go. 4G non-stop internet, free social, free Wi-Fi, and a uh, bit of credit. So this lasts for eight days, so I picked up this, and all the waters and juices and all that stuff. It cost me, I think, around 12, 12 to 15 dollars, so that's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Low key, we don't know what to do. Knowing me, I'm super adventurous at the moment. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna ask one of these drivers, take them somewhere, and we'll leave from there. You absolute dickhead, you just put your life at risk. Okay, I'm here with my friend Sky. He's gonna be taking me to uh, what's deemed to be a club full of girls. Whether that's true or not, we'll see what happens and 
I have to trust Sky. Sky's gonna take me to some beautiful girls. Low key, not true, but let's make it happen. I didn't cover this in the video, but I'll just add it right now. So what happened was Sky did end up taking me to a place. Um, there was about eight to ten local Thai bouncers at the front. I looked at them, I looked at the entrance where they were pointing me to, which was in a dark shady corridor, and I was just like, fuck that, I've pushed it to the edge, I'm not going to get scammed anymore. Sky, take me home. Thank God, I thought I was going to sneeze. Anyway, um, it's the next morning, as you could tell, last night uh, I did, I was this close to getting scammed. I knew I was, but I just wanted to push it to the edge and see like what would happen. I know it's dumb shit putting my life at risk like that, but like I get bored quickly. I need amusement. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, other than that, I'm going to put out a couple more videos, a bit more content um, over the next couple of days or over the next couple of weeks. And um, I'm going to be able to share like what I'm going to be going through, like what I'm going to be getting up to as well throughout this trip. So um, it's been a minute. I do miss this place. Chiang Mai is a fucking amazing place to be at. Um, it's easily like my favorite place in Thailand right now. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've got to say. But anyway, um, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to start a new video today for, for, for the next vlog. So love, peace, and uh, chicken grease. <laughs> Oh, man.